Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, almost afternoon. It's uh, Wednesday morning. It's almost about 11.30 a.m. Uh, what is it, the 24th today of July? Uh, just a little update here. Uh, I just got back home uh, a little bit ago and bedded down and uh, put away seven brand new calves, <clears throat> which we're going to have a look at here in just a bit. Yesterday, I was pretty busy there in the uh, early morning. Uh, I shuffled around a whole bunch of animals. Um, <clears throat> that first super hutch, I cleared that out. I did a little bit of sorting according to size and uh, ended up cleaning it. That's going to be ready for the next group of calves that are going to be weaned. And if this weather gets a little bit better today, they're going to get weaned off today. This is a very nice uh, pen right here. Now you can see there's a bunch of steers in there. It's raining right now. This is a penned off area, which I'm using for a, uh, we're going to call it a pre-steer lot. These guys are almost ready to hit the steer lot, not just yet. A couple of them are. Um, these guys are going to stay in here for about a week and a half, two weeks. They're going to be uh, heavy on grain, water, and hay. And then when uh, I feel comfortable, that gate's going to get opened, and there they are in the steer lot. So, these guys all got put in here yesterday. There's some very good, healthy animals right here. This 226, he's a, he's a beast. Really well-rounded. That guy that's laying down, um, he actually comes from the steer lot. He was having some problems. So uh, I was able to rope him, believe it or not, yesterday, and he's in here with these guys for a couple of weeks. Like I said, this is kind of like a pre-steer lot pen. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. The biggest reason I did that yesterday is because I couldn't keep up with the cleansliness of that, um, <clears throat> that super hutch right there. With some of these rainfalls that we've had, you can go ahead and add straw. It's just gonna be muck within a few hours of them stepping on it and trampling on it. So yeah, I took the feed bunk away yesterday. I moved all the animals um, one by one and got all this cleaned out yesterday. I'd really like for the, the ground to breathe. I've said this on a previous commercial, uh, commercial video. <clears throat> um, it's just, something I have it's one of my quirks I like to let the ground breathe and maybe get beat on by some sun for a couple days and kind of get the bugs out I don't know if I'm gonna have that luxury because I really need to wean off um, seven calves in the calf yard here <clears throat> we got a rainy day all day we're supposed to get some thunder showers This is one new guy, really good looking calf. I got three calves from my furthest customer and then four from uh, the guy that's, oh, he's maybe five miles down the road. Seven in total this morning. It's raining, dude, get inside. Like I said, I just got them in here, just got them bedded. It's another nice calf right there. As you can see, they're not even tagged yet. EID tags, the number tags. Uh, I actually got to wash up some pails for their country calf yet. I, I just put them in. I'm going to take care of these guys after lunch. Now, uh, that word convenience. I used that word today. There's four other calves, new calves. <clears throat> I ended up throwing them in here. I, I, I hope I don't pay for this, but things have been going so good with this group right here. And this group here, no problems. They're all full of piss and vinegar and 
Things have been going so good. Uh, I ended up throwing these other four in here. Now these four calves here, they've been kind of living together in the same pen over at the same farm. They all come from the same farm. I, I, I would not intermingle. Um, so we're going to see how they do. The first sign of anything odd, I will dismantle this pen and they will be thrown outside. <clears throat> Singly, which is the way you're really supposed to do it. But things are going good, so we're going we're gonna to see what happens. Some good calves. They're doing good. These guys got a ways to go. These are those couple of sick animals I was talking about. Um, he has yet to get up. By tomorrow, I'm going to have to make him get up or, or wench him up. They can only sit for so long. He's doing good, though. He's, he's eating grain. Um, he can't get up for water, and the stubborn son of a gun won't drink water in a pail that I bring to him. So unfortunately, what I'm having to do is I'm tubing him three times a day with electrolytes. Um, I, I don't know what else to do, so that's the road I'm taking. The other guy was sickly too. If you can see, he's skin. Uh, so they're in here to recoup and uh, get a little better, put some meat on their bones, get healthy. Hopefully all turns out well. So yeah, kind of a catch-up day today. Rainy day. We're supposed to get thunderstorms. So I'm just uh, kind of doing the calf thing here, getting things a little more organized. Hopefully I get a, a window in here today, some decent weather to wean off some calves. Do some dehorning. Um, castrations. That's all done on weaning day. It's a hell of a day for these guys, but it's 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 a one-shot deal, and it seems to be working out okay. Well, it is working out good. Other than that, good weather pattern coming. Uh, depending on how much rain today we get, and we don't get some sinkholes or flood holes in some of these fields, I am going after some hay tomorrow to go cut. Uh, and I look to cut down the field that I keep talking about this little contest with that we're going to, you know, guess the round bales are going to come off of it, that one. We'll see what happens, though. A lot of big ifs going on right there. I have got possibly a record amount of calves for me on Replacer now. I guarantee I do, actually. Um... Oh, maybe not. Actually, I think I'm only at about 51 now, even with these new calves that got brought in. Yeah, I was a little higher than that a uh, month, month and a half ago. But, yeah, I'm kind of on my own here. Uh, you know, Dad does help out. I've said a couple times now, Mom and Dad took off for France this morning. I did have a uh, local younger person. Uh, they are trained in feeding calves, mixing formula, what to watch for. Uh, she is the daughter of my neighbors on the corner. Excellent, excellent job. Great worker, uh, respectable, uh, yeah, you know, I don't want to call her a kid. Respectable younger woman, wants to work, wants to earn some money. Um, and I look forward to her getting back to, to help out here. Uh, she took off to California for a couple weeks for uh, a family ordeal. And uh, so, yeah, I'm kind of on my own here. Pretty busy every morning and night with feeding, but uh, that's okay. That's all right. When it's time to make hay, it's not going to be all right, but what do you do day by day, right? That's about all I got. Um, keep busy with some odds and ends. I'm going to tackle some equipment today, do some greasing, some cleaning. And uh, I got a little bit of book work to catch up on, paperwork, and... Uh, I do have to enforce three these calves, the new calves. I do that the first day that they're here. Enforce three, if you don't know, is an intra intranasal vaccination for respiratory diseases. It's made for calves, young calves. I am a firm believer in enforce three. 
I know there's a lot of other stuff out there. Um, and I probably won't tag these guys today. I like to let them sit for a day or two before they get their, uh, their double earrings. You know what I mean? So... All right, that's it. I got to get going. It's about lunchtime here, and this weather is telling me that it's tomato soup and uh, grilled cheese sandwiches. So, uh, yeah, kind of went without breakfast here this morning. I've been running, so, uh, yeah, that's about it. Have a good day.